nothing gets it. All right, all right. What's up, everyone? Well, we're out here today at King of the Hammers. We're hanging out with Mike from hey. Fieldcraft Survival. How's it going, man? Dude, I'm doing great. How are oh, you doing? Dude, doing good, bro. I guess we're going to work on a rig walk around. Is that what we want to do today? And yeah, just show the people the rig see, and, and kind it. of, you know, the details are important, but yes. really why you guys built it for, you know, it's a, it's a company for vehicle and, and what you guys do as yeah. well. Because, um, I don't know, I focus a lot on the, ho, 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 we're out having a lot of fun. And you guys like help people stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> My Stingray 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I've had it for, you know, just over a year because it just came out. You know, you got one. Yeah, dude. So awesome. So always good to hang with another Gladiator. <laughs> Fieldcraft Survival is a, is a survival company, uh -huh. right? Um, it is a veteran owned and operated uh, company. Uh, the owner's name is Michael Glover, a really great friend of mine. And um, the whole like preparedness lifestyle has a lot of ties with, you know, Olaf overlanding and whatnot. And Mike previously had a four-door Jeep Wrangler and got the Gladiator for the modular storage capabilities. So he's got the Rebel Off-Road Rack with the Rome uh, rooftop tent with the annex for his whole family. He goes camping with the family and his daughters a lot. So having that extra space is great. And of course, he's got the Max Trax traction ramps on the side. You know, you gotta have Max Trax in different, uh, uh, I guess, off-road scenarios where you lose traction. You know, rear lights off the back, it's got a little a little uh, ember filter on there so you can cut through dust and then it'll give me that full spread in the camp where we're at. As well as the lights underneath, it'll give you, you know, a lot more visibility. Uh, I am running a 38 Falcon tire um, on a 17 inch beadlock. Um, and then to clear those things, I'm running an off-road evolution uh, four and a half inch lift. It's the, it's the uh, Enforcer Overland edition. Um, I know this was kind of the talk today, so I'll, I'll kind of yeah, the rock slide <laughs> engineering steps. They're so cool. These are cool. I mean, especially for me since I'm so little, you know. I can, <laughs> I can get in and out. You know, my little ones, like I said, my, my chair in. They can come in and out. Hey, I like that. Yeah, 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 we got you a sticker. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah, those are really nice because they're sliding at the same time, at the same time as the step. Ooh, and so fancy. You little fancy, little fancy. Mm -hmm. Bougie, I guess. <laughs> The front end of this thing's a beast. Mike's got a Genrite aluminum front bumper with a worn Xeon 10S winch in there and Factor 55 Fairlead and shackle. He's also got some new KC highlights up front and man, the front end of this thing just looks killer. I got excited. We're getting behind the scenes shots there with Wally. I'm like, hey Wally. Hey Wally. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey bud. What's up, guys? <laughs> we got a couple of field craft uh, things in there too. If you want to swing around there on the other side, if you want to see interior. But yeah, um, let's check those out. out. Yeah, cool. for sure. And the race line wheels looks like. Yeah, race line, monster beat locks. We got the 6 7 design gladiator rail as well. Love that system. I love this color. It's like a yeah. cement gray kind of thing. Yeah, right? Yeah. What's cool about a lot of the stuff that we do in Fieldcraft is it is a preparedness mindset, but like I said, it's also for every day. So there is a... Should I go to the driver's side to see maybe? I or? can open it for you. Can oh, yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. If you want to grab it even, there's a, uh, there is a, um, a med kit up there just in the case of emergency. It's all Velcro. I love Velcro. This uh, guy? Yeah. Off. Wow. Cool. It's pretty cool, right? That's a... Basic so, hemorrhaging response kit in that one. So this, I think, like this type of stuff, I think is the most beneficial thing we could talk about in this cool. video. So what do you keep in here and why? Awesome. So check this out. This is, like I said, a basic hemorrhaging response kit. And a lot of times when you're looking at the statistics um, within car accidents and whatnot, you know, one of the leading causes is bleeding out. So this is a kit to help out in the case of an emergency. You know, it's not something... Um, that is common in the sense of people experience it a lot, but when this stuff does happen, it is common to bleed out when it's a vehicle, you know, how severe mm -hmm. and it, but that's what this is. This is a kit that has everything for me. Um, and then a tourniquet, a cat tourniquet, if you're uh, needing something to stop a, a hammer, essentially, right? Uh -huh. So this is, a, um, this is like an individual option, right? Uh -huh. And then I have other options for med mm -hmm. for the family because yeah. you, you have to build you know up from that so this mm -hmm. is where you would want to start yeah if you're trying to get involved yeah well and that's it's just good to know like what the most like you said tourniquet and some these are some of the most 
like important things that you're hopefully never gonna need. Right. That could save your life. More than likely, you won't need them. Yeah. But the, the the mindset is preparedness for every day, right? Like exactly. we're not going to war. I mean, yeah. Aircraft Survival is, is is a veteran-owned company, but that's not what we're teaching here. Yeah. Right? What we're just saying is, hey, stuff happens. You should be trained. You know, yeah. and it starts from a basic kit for mm -hmm. basic bumps and boo boos, right? For your little ones or whoever, right? Yeah. Yourself. And then you kind of expand it there. I mean, I was solo on the road, like, most of the time. I mean, I've been fortunate to meet cool people right. and, and travel in convoys. But when I am solo, it's like I take things very slowly. And if something does happen, um, it's just important to have. So my buddy, Fife, who's here, told me a while ago, he's like, do you have a tourniquet? And on the phone with him there, I ordered a tourniquet. Yeah. It's in my driver's side door. Good. I have a small amount of stuff, but I got to get some field craft stuff, I think, man. 100%. to be. Because, I mean, you're so organized, like the Velcro. So anything happens, you're like, passenger, oh. yes. passenger, what's the visor? Yep. Passenger visor, Velcro, rip it. it. Says medic. Yep. Boom. Boom. That done. tells everyone where yes. it is. So that was like one of the quick access ones. And that's kind of the theme mm -hmm. when you look at the rest is this is a panel back system that you can easily do the same thing. Here's another oh, med kit, great. right? And this is yeah. actually one, this is like a what, like a second gen I want to say. So the new variant is actually got a little bit cooler material. And you uh -huh. can see Valcro, I love Valcro. Yeah, that, so, <laughs> wow. So everyone's got the Molly stuff and, yeah. and that's fun, right? but they say it's rip away. Uh, uh, but is it? But is I it? don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't rip it away very often. There is a That's couple. That's true. Of them. Rip away. You know what I mean? And you can actually from anywhere in the wow. vehicle, right? It's really actually. Yeah, you got you got to pull because mm -hmm. it's really on there. Mm -hmm. Holy Funny thing too is, cow! You know, we're Look racing at that. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You're doing the Everyman Challenge. Everyman Challenge, and we got a couple bags back there because we want to see if they'll if they'll last or if they'll stay or you know it's kind of just yeah. A, uh, a, test and evaluation of this product yeah so great meds. spot to test products <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basic med survival and then a bigger kit which is a uh, vehicle trauma response kit that has like burn provisions and, and the rest of the stuff that's in there mm -hmm. but yeah just want to try to cover some basic things that's what we got in there mm -hmm. Oh man, that looks good. What's cool too? I man, really like that panel. Right? And it Yeah, it I hadn't off. seen it before. It comes off super easy and then this folds up and it's a backpack. So you blow no it off way. and then you're out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. So most of the time it's going to be on the vehicle, but if, you know, you someone's to. at the top of that mountain mm -hmm. and we need to hike up there and that's all your your safety stuff, goes with you. you could take it. <laughs> yeah. This that's what I'm really saying. Cool. You know, Mike Glover is it's is really the owner cool. of the company, you know, mm -hmm. he's super high speed man you know green beret special operative cia stuff like that and throughout his 20-year career these are the things that he and his mind his highly trained mind right comes up with because mm -hmm. i mean that's not for me i'm, I'm just there trying to <laughs> you know learn from, from what yeah doing. seriously well yeah and that's it's all a team effort yeah. right you guys have a really really cool team Absolutely. you just moved to utah right you were yeah, in arizona the, well see i'm i'm one of the remote guys so mm -hmm. uh for mobility which is what we call the vehicle based moving stuff that we do mm -hmm. um i'm in arizona and the company moved to heber city in mm -hmm. utah yeah and that's mm -hmm. where some of them are that's where our headquarters is now though yes mm -hmm. yeah awesome man yeah and you guys do tons of youtube videos yes. you just broke three hundred thousand subs yes. huh yeah it's pretty Congrats. cool Thanks, man. <laughs> that is so huge that's awesome um so yeah it's you got to check their channel out for I've, I've heard the feedback from some of my buddies who watch the channel is yeah. it's fun. It's lighthearted, but it's also like, ser like it's, it's survival stuff. It's things There's that can continue. truly help you just like the gear. The videos are, are designed kind of the same way. It seems yeah, absolutely just help you out. 100%. And yeah. that's the cool thing too, is, you know, even being out here in ultra four racing and King of the hammers, this is all being, you know, assimilated in that way too. That'll go on our YouTube page and it'll have, mm -hmm. you know, full breakdown podcast and all that stuff too. So you yeah. Yeah. to see that. That's awesome. Yeah, well, well, what's next? Like, what's in the works for Fieldcraft? You guys got anything fun coming up? You or? know what? We got, I don't know if I'm allowed okay, to talk about I'm sure you got it. a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just be quiet because I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, but, yeah, for sure. Do, you know what I'm doing? I'll tell you this. I'm charting out a year's worth of trips in very cool locations that we're going to try and get, you know, the tires in the dirt and, mm -hmm. and, and create some content in some cool locations. We'll see that. Maybe Let's go. I can do that. I want to go. Dude, Let's I want to go. go. <laughs> I'm so down to mom. That's so awesome. Heck yeah. Dude, that sounds like fun. Right? That's what's so great about all this, meeting meeting you guys, meeting new people, is we're going to do some, some future yeah. trips for sure. That'll yeah. be good. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to say about the company in general? or? 
no, I think we pretty much covered it, man. You know, Sweet. I appreciate you know you letting us come on here and uh, and take a look at my truck and how we do things. And of course, but anyways, you guys got to comment and let us know what you think of the Gladiator and all this gear. What's maybe your favorite piece of the uh, survival gear? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and hit the like if you enjoyed it. Of course, check out Patreon for exclusive content. And uh, we know Mike and, and Fieldcraft is down to mob. The only question is, are you down to mob? <laughs> Love it. Oh. Thank you.